had the miscues and then find yourself still able to win that game. Do you take anything from that? Yeah, no, it's just, you know, being able to finish. We just realized some points where we got to finish better. I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, going back, looking at the film, looking at all the mistakes that we made and just saying, oh, man, you know, we could finish better. But, you know, that's in the past. It's last week. Now we can take that to, you know, hopefully up to West B and learn from it. Saying you made a bunch of mistakes, but being on a team that is making a bunch of better mistakes this late in the year, frustrating. Yeah, you know, it, but it happens. It's, it's football, you know. I think uh, we take for granted, you know, how, how I guess, easy, or I take, we take for granted how little mistakes that we've made in the past, but it is football, and, you know, we got a big separation of uh, age on this team, and, you know, it happens. So I think the biggest thing is learning from it, learning for from it for the future, and learning it for, from it for the next three games. You brought up the big separation of age, so many new guys on this team. Is that something, did you fully get that from the second, from spring practice on, how big the gap there was in some of those guys? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, but not so much of the age thing. It's just the, you know, a turnover. It, it was a turnover. There's a lot of people, you know, that departed. And, you know, it's just a weird roster makeup, you know, to say the least. But uh, our guys do a great job of responding. We do a great job of staying together. So with that type of resolve we have on the team, you know, we'll learn from it and we'll you know, carry on to next week. Is that just one of the deals with college football? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But I think the biggest thing that, you know, Coach Venables preaches and that we, you know, are now firm believers of, you can only control what you can control. And so, you know, take the guys that you got and, you know, make the best out of it. Get better every week and, you you know, you stick to your principles, you stick to your core values, you should come out on the right side. Braden, Saturday, what was the mood like at halftime when you guys had all those mistakes that piled up, five empty drives, but you look at the scoreboard and you're only down one one field goal? What was that? What was it like coming out second half? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we had, you know, there's a bunch of different situations that can occur during the game. So we don't get too high or too low in game. Um, you know, obviously that is encouraging when you feel like you played your worst out of the ball and mm -hmm. you're still in the game. But... You know, that's just something for us to be able to take on to next week and the next few games and for young guys to take for the rest of their career. So, What do you think the, the message is there? What do you think the lesson is? The lesson in, in itself is just learning from the situation. You know, all of us can be better from the situation, how we reacted. You know, we didn't really clean it up. Now we know what to do, how to clean it up. And so I think that's really the biggest takeaway from that moment. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, we just got to be more disciplined, I think. And that goes for everybody, old guys and young guys alike. Just be more disciplined. Uh, you know, we 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 do a good job of um, holding people accountable, accountable in practice, and we're going to continue to do that. And, you know, we're on to West Virginia. We're going to continue to work on that and, you know, just get better every week. Thanks, Braden. Thanks, Thank Brad. you.